okay so continuing from the previous one now let's move on to the document structure so basically you can include the title page the table of contents all of those just like in the original or normal latex document so let's try and include a title here so i will have to define title a small title here and a very long title okay a subtitle and author the date okay so once you're done with this what you can do is inside the begin document you can use frame title page so this should create your title page and yes there you have it the title page okay fine uh, we're done with the title page so let's see if you can include the table of contents for that what you need to do is you will need to begin frame let's give a frame title as table of contents and here table of contents current section what this current section actually does is it displays the table of contents with only the current section highlighted okay so let's end frame yeah so let's see yes we have the table of contents with section one highlighted where we are fine so instead of suppose we want the table of contents after every section instead of you know copying this we can actually do this in the preamble we can use at begin section begin frame frame title table of contents and table of contents current section and frame so what this would do is you know uh, display the table of contents with the particular section displayed uh, highlighted only after every section so let's see what happens so we have one table of contents here in section one and another here in section two with section two highlighted okay 